Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elise Ramey. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. An update for those affected by yesterday's fire at Bronco Preschool in Buena Vista Township. The Saginaw ISD says by the end of tomorrow, parents can expect a phone call from their child's teacher along with an update on the class dojo platform. The ISD says it is doing everything possible to speed up the process to set up a new learning location. The school district is in the process of recovering students' belongings, which will be kept at Later preschool in Saginaw, the ISD's crisis team is offering mental health support to students following the fire. Just call the Family Service Advocate or Clater Preschool to set up a session. Making roads safer for both drivers and animals in our state, the Michigan Department of Transportation and the DNR are requesting more than $450,000 in grant funding from the federal government to study wildlife crossings hotspots. According to MDOT, Michigan typically ranks fourth highest in the nation for deer vehicle crashes with an average of 55,000 a year, causing $130 million in damages. If the grant is awarded, MDOT, the DNR and a consultant team would identify the top 20 hotspots for animal vehicle crashes in Michigan and work to add animal crossings such as culverts or bridges using existing structures. Mid-Michigan receiving millions to upgrade our water infrastructure. The Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy announcing several grants to communities to protect freshwater sources. Flint and Owasso are getting more than $22 million combined. $2.6 million will help fund improvements to Owasso's wastewater treatment plant. $20 million will go to Flint to fund the Avon pump station demolition, 3rd Avenue pump station upgrades, and electrical improvements. Now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Well, these temperatures tonight expected to drop down into the 50s and then tomorrow it's right back up to the 70s and 80s once again, continuing a cycle that we've seen many times over the last several days. But we are dry tonight. That may change for some of us tomorrow. There are some showers and storms moving through Minnesota and Wisconsin tonight. Some of those will have a chance to move in as we head towards tomorrow. I think the most likely time frame will be in the afternoon and the evening hours. There may be some showers that attempt to move in tomorrow morning. However, they may fall apart at first as they encounter a less favorable environment, but I think that will eventually change during the second half of the day. Notice the coverage never really gets widespread at times, but there are showers periodically possible through the second half of the day. If you do have outdoor plans tomorrow night or potentially you're heading to the high school football games, just know that the storms are possible, but thankfully it appears they won't be sticking around for the entire night. We do have some uh, fog possibilities Saturday morning. Some of that could be dense. It doesn't stick around all day, and it looks like as we go through the rest of the day, it should be pretty nice. We'll have a chance on Sunday to start dry, but then we'll likely have a few showers move our way Sunday into Sunday night, and that seems to be the most likely time frame of rain as we go into the seven day forecast. More areas being added to the abnormally dry category with the latest drought monitor update today. We'll see where we get next week and if there's any relief after getting some rain in the seven day. It looks like Sunday and Monday's chance, the best chance, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, some smaller scattered chances. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.